am going to be reviewing the Oculus Touch virtual reality system. The first thing that you're going to notice once you order this is that it comes in a wonderful package. As you can, you can see almost immediately that this is a high quality system. They took care of all the details. It arranges, it arranges itself very snugly in there and fits beautifully. When you do finally get to the Oculus headset and touch controllers, you'll notice they're put together with very good material. Uh, it is very durable, but not heavy. The touch controllers are the same thing. They're, you can tell they're well manufactured. They're made with good materials. They're not heavy to work with, but uh, they're very stable and very solid. The headset itself is very comfortable. It slides over your head very easily. Uh, I have two boys that wear glasses, and even with, uh, even with glasses, uh, this fits very comfortably over their head. The earpieces are easy to arrange for any size, and they fit perfectly into the ear to give you full stereo sound. There is an adjustable lever at the bottom of the headset to allow you to focus the lenses uh, closer and uh, get, get it all perfect. That is all part of the setup that they walk you through when you first set it up. It will walk you through how to configure the uh, headset, make sure the straps are exactly where you want them. The, uh, it'll, it will walk you through how to set up the receivers and how to make sure that all of your pieces are working in perfect order. The setup of the Rift is extremely easy and straightforward. This is the uh, start screen. When you come in, there's uh, several steps that they will walk you through, how to make sure that you've got everything configured right. It reads your computer to make sure that you've got your HDMI and your USB plugged in. You'll notice that there are three USB ports. Uh, the one is for the HDMI cable, and then the other two are for the sensors. You can use it with just one, but you're not going to be able to use your touch controllers unless you have at least two. Um, you need the, the two different touch controllers to arrange your space. Once those are all set, then it goes through and it communicates with your sensors to make sure that it is communicating and everything is hooked up right, They're, and uh, they are configuring properly to your system. Then they tell you that you need to be sure that the shiny face is, or the shiny side is out, which I got a kick out of, because uh, of course you you may not know. Then you set your height uh, so that it can tell whether you're sitting up or standing up or sitting down, and then it'll walk you through how to move your clear an area, make sure you've got plenty of play area, uh, where to place your sensors. I've got mine set up right, but I wanted to show you how the, how easy this is. You set up your sensor tracking. It talks about adjusting that. Then it looks for your touch controllers. So I'm going to take a quick step back. And now my touch controllers are visible. I'm in my play area. And it's sensing and communicating with my touch controllers now. And it can tell exactly how I'm configured and where I'm configured. And now I've got my range, which is awesome. It lets you visualize in your room where you are. The next really nice feature is you set up what they call a guardian system. And it explains that this is a line that you draw using your controller to let you know while you're playing your game, if you step out of your safe area, uh, to make sure that you're not going places you shouldn't go or maybe running into the wall, or maybe running into various aspects, uh, various things that you have around your house. Uh, it just lets you know while you're playing your, vid your video games that you're in a safe spot. And then it talks about personalizing your uh, Rift. It talks about how to set it up, how to make it sure that everything is configured. I'm kind of slipping through this because I wanted to get to the actual set. Now at this point, you put your VR headset on.
And one of the things you'll notice is the sound immediately in your ears is spectacular. Uh, they ask you to stand in the center of your play area and now uh, you're all set. All right, and now you are in your virtual play area. You start out, you can interact with the world around you. Oop. Pick up items, like a, I got a can here. There's some hidden secrets I'm not going to tell you about, but there's a lot of fun to be had in here. You can activate things. You can turn things on. And you make a new friend. Uh, there's lots of things to do around the room. Uh, you saw there, uh, I've got my safe area set up, and that line that you're seeing there uh, is the safe area. That lets me know that I am dangerously close to the front. I'm dangerously close to this side. If I move much farther this way, I'm kind of, I kind of made my space a little short. You gotta wave at your friend there, but it walks you through everything that you need to do. Again, you can interact with pretty much everything. You can uh, use uh, your grip controller to do exactly what they're telling you to do. And it really is very intuitive. Uh, a little bit too much so. When I first played, uh, I got a little bit too wrapped up. And when I tried to put something down on the table, I actually dropped my controller. But you interact with the world around you just like you would in the real world, only it's all right in front of you on the screen. So as you can see, the experience is very easy to set up. The Rift is fantastic. It's beautiful, it's interactive, it's intuitive. Uh, you're using your hands, you're using your eyes. Uh, one of the games uh, that's loaded actually lets you aim by where you glance, which is a, a, a really interesting feature. However, the games that come with your Oculus, the six games that are available, are not really engaging. We played them for a little while. We kind of got a couple of hours out of them. The, uh, there is a store that you can buy uh, the bigger experience games, the, the more robust games. For you hardcore gamers, you probably know what virtual reality games are already available. Uh, for myself, I'm still learning. I'm reviewing a lot of them. I'm checking them out to see what would be a good fit for my family and I. Some of them are too graphic, some of them are a little light. Um, but the six games that you have are, are a great introduction. They'll get you to the point that you understand how the Oculus works, how games in general interact with the controllers. For example, one of the games is in zero gravity, so you fly around using rockets on your wrists. So, of course, that gives you the full sensation of flying around in zero gravity, which is really cool. But they're not going to engage you for much more than a couple of hours. After that, you'll need to go into the store, which is very easy to do using the Oculus program, and to find some games that you're interested in. There's tons of videos out there about what's a good fit for you, so you can research the games and find a good fit for you. Overall, the experience is amazing. It is so worth the money to uh, interact with a virtual reality in your own system, in your own house. Speaking of the system, uh, there's a link in my write-up regarding how to find out if your computer is compatible with the Oculus or not. The more robust your computer, the better your experience, but you need to be sure that your computer can handle Oculus. So please check out my write-up and make sure that you follow the link. There's a little application all the way down at the bottom that'll let you know that your computer will work with the system. Again, there's an HDMI port, three different USB ports. Uh, I did set it up on one of my laptops, which has enough power to run Oculus, but I did need to set up an external USB hub because I only have two USB ports on my laptop. So uh, keep that in mind as you're getting ready to experience Oculus, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Thank you.